um, I thought they were yeah, really, really pleased with the way they play and um, should give them a lot of confidence going into the season. Anyone in particular that caught your eye? Oh, no, not in particular. I think we'll need to go back and look at the vision, but um, guys like Trent Burgoyne hasn't played footy in 18 months and to be able to come out and play his first game against men, I thought he did some really good things in the first half. Dylan Williams can play. Um, he's going to be a serious star. Just once he improves his probably his work rate a little bit and um, is able to play for four quarters. But um, your normal guys, your Toddy Marshalls. I thought Brad Ebert was really good. Sam Hayes was um, good in the first half, and, and we probably got on top in the midfield. And uh, to Adelaide's credit, they probably got on top in the second half. So, look, in particular, I think our young guys showed that they can perform at the level and um, something to build on. Is Dylan Williams a serious chance of playing first team footy this year? Um, oh, if he continues to develop, I don't, don't want to put a, um, I suppose, a limit on him. Uh, I think he can certainly got some AFL qualities, uh, and if he continues to develop, I, I think he can play AFL footy. He's just a nice competition in the ruck as well. I thought Sam Hayes is he's going to push at some stage. Yeah, certainly, and you know Pete Laddams unfortunately couldn't play today because he was a bit crook. So um, we're really fortunate at the moment. We got three guys that can really perform in the ruck, and, and as you mentioned, I thought Hazy, especially the first half, um, was really dominant and really got on top. A bit patchy, but did you like Toddy Marshall's game? Yeah, I did. I think. Um, the thing that I've liked about Todd's game is that he can do things for longer. Um, he's probably lacked a little bit of fitness over the last couple of years, and it's certainly not one of his strengths. And he certainly added to that. He's working really hard in the gym and put on some size. So I think um, the more football that Todd plays, the better he'll get. And uh, we saw some consistency come out in his game today. A couple of games in a row now. It's good to see Ebert get through as well. Yeah, certainly. Um, He's probably one of those guys that just played today to get a bit of um, run in the legs. I think uh, obviously not playing a hell of a lot of footy last year uh, with his with his head issues. It was good for him to get some footy and, and get him back around the midfield a bit as well. I think um, uh, that was the idea with Ebo today was to get some midfield time, have a really good blowout um, and then go from there. Uh, should we read too much into Jackson Mead? not playing today or is he okay? No, certainly not. I think um, we just need to be smart with his rehab um, with his hamstring. I think uh, being a first year guy in our program, I think if you're rushing back, you can really set him back. So um, we decided to take the cautious approach with him today and give him an extra week. But I, I suggest he'll either be available for Marsh Cup next week or, or the following week, Sample trial. And Riley Grundy's injury, is that just an ankle, was it, near the end there? Yeah, I think he just got a knock on the knee. So I yeah, don't yeah. think it was um, too dry. Um, but I think he'll be okay. Yeah. A couple of your small forwards, um, Woodcock and uh, Cox, I thought had some nice moments as well. They, where are they at in terms of their pushing for a spot, I guess? Oh, they're certainly improving in regards to their development. I don't like to, as I said before, I don't like to say he's he's a chance to play round one in the AFL, but both of those guys have certainly um, improved over the summer. They're both fitter and stronger. and. Um, I think the most important thing for us is we need them playing good football so that they can put pressure on the guys that are in the AFL team.